In a time before Facebook, World of Warcraft, and massive multiplayer online RPGs, there once existed simply a game. Forged by the hands of nerds, crafted in the minds of geeks, and so advanced in its advances, it would take a whole second edition to contain all of its mighty geekery. But here, in the land of Ohio, in the year of 1995, one of the rarest kinds of nerds walked the earth. One without fear, prejudice, or a penis. This nerd was a girl nerd, and her name was Tilly Evans. Tilly Evans was a teenage girl decked out in full leathery D&D style fantasy armor with cool ass sword in hand. She's surrounded by a horde of kobolds, which are goblin-like creatures. Suddenly, they attack! She quickly slays them with grace and efficiency. She stands poised over their dead bodies. But this story is not about her. This story is about her sister. Agnes Evans grew up average. She was of average height, average weight, and average build. She had average parents and grew up in the average town of Athens, Ohio with her little sister Tilly, who was anything but average. What you doing? Talking on the phone, what are you doing? Trying to reanimate a dead lizard with the power of electricity. Oh, okay. What? Though they shared the same heritage, the two girls had very little in common. Agnes was more into typical things, such as boys, music, and popular television programs. Tilly, on the other hand, well, she was more fascinated with the dark arts, magic dragons, and the vanquishing of pure evil! Evil! As average Agnes grew and grew, she became more and more engrossed in transcending her seemingly permanent state of averageness. Frustrated by seeing her sister's unique brand of uniqueness, she made one grand wish in her junior year of high school. I wish I didn't have such a geeky sister. And so the gods answered her wish by smiting her young sibling down in a car crash. What? No! But fear not, adventurers. This story is not of that particular tragedy. No. This story is about how average Agnes finally learned how to fight and kill monsters. Soy un pedido. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you Whoa! Whoa! What in the Hades? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not scared. I'm a black belt in Jedi Jitsu. Uh, I'm looking for Chuck Biggs. Oh. Well, you're looking at him. My homies just call me DM Biggs because, you know, I'm big where it counts. As in my brain. Oh. Not because I'm fat. Seriously, it has nothing to do with my body mass. I actually work out. I, I get it. So, what can I do for you, sweet thing? One, don't call me sweet thing. Two, somebody told me you might know a thing or two about Dungeons and Dragons? Well, it depends if we're talking first or second edition. Psych, it doesn't matter which edition, because my D&D IQ is plus three hella high. You're very odd. Odd as in hot, right? No. So, what can I tell you about the D and the D? Uh, well, I have this thingy. I'm not quite sure what it is. Well, let me check it, check oh, it out. Be careful with it. It's not mine. You know, you're not exactly what I was expecting. What? Were you expecting some nerd? Because I'm no nerd. I got a girlfriend from New York. How did you meet a girl from New York? Oh, and a little thing I like to call the internet? You've been on the internet, right? Yeah, like once at school. It's the bomb, yo. I got it hooked up at my house, top of the line. I'm talking 56 kilobits per second. If you ever want to, you know, come over and check it out. I'm cool. So, about the notebook. Yeah. Well, it's obviously a homespun module. Clearly. Um, what's that? It's, it's like a map for a D&D adventure. This one looks like it's written for one to two players with entry level skills and power designations with... Yo, where'd you get this? It's my sister's. This is your sister's? Uh, yeah, it was in her locker. Wait, your sister is Tilius the Paladin? Who? Tilly Evans. You knew her? Of course I knew her. Every player here in Athens has been on campaign with the great Tilius. So you can help me figure out what this all means? Figure it out, wait. What do you want to do with this exactly? Well, Chuck, it's a game, right? I want to play it. Oh, 
Hey guys, did you see my touchdown? Of course you did, Marshmallow Head. Or do you think we dress this way because we don't like pants? You did great, babe. Uh, so, what are you doing tonight? You wanna hang? I'd love to, but I can't. What? Why not? She doesn't have to explain herself to you. She's an independent woman. She can do whatever she wants. Why are you a cheerleader exactly? I thought cheerleaders were supposed to be cheery. And I thought football players were supposed to have balls. Hey! Vera, it's okay. He's allowed to ask. So, why can't you hang? It's, well, none of your business. What? You heard her. Uh, babe. Don't call her babe. She has a name. Uh, Agnes. We always go out afterwards. What's the big? I'm busy. Doing what? Stuff. What stuff? Nothing. Wait, so is it stuff? Or is it nothing? Because b b before it was stuff. And, and now- Just it's... don't worry about it. You sound like an idiot. Did I do something wrong? Oh, I did something wrong, didn't I? Uh, uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I can give you flowers. Uh, what kind do you like? Um, I got roses, daisies, lilacs, carnations, marigolds? You really know a lot about flowers. <laughs> what did I do? You didn't do anything. I just can't hang. Why not? Don't look at me. The boy's persistent. It's... It's Tilly's anniversary, okay? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I... I gotta go. <laughs> Told you you should mind your own damn business. Um, hello? Anyone here? Greetings, adventurer. I am Chuck Biggs, also known as DM Biggs. I will be your dungeon master for this evening. You'll be my what? Sit! Okay. Before you was a game, a game like no other. One written to test your mind, your cunning, your badassness. There also chips and soda for your snacky enjoyment, but lay off the Twizzlers, those are mine. Are you ready? I guess? Then imagine, if you will, this setting. You're standing on the sands of a mystical beachside, the endless ocean to your right, and an ominous dark forest to your left. And from the distance, a hooded stranger approaches. Oh, crap, okay, am I supposed to do something here, like, fight it? Not yet. But you said a hooded stranger approaches. If a hooded stranger approached me in real life, I would totally mace him. You don't have mace here. So what do I do? Just chill. I'm giving you your given circumstances. Sorry. Standing on the sands of the mystical beachside, the ocean to your right, and the forest to your left, the hooded stranger approaches, and then... Welcome to Newlandia, stranger. I am... Tilly? Tillius, actually. The paladin. You're in this game? Of course I am. I made it up, didn't I? Tilly, I don't know what to say. This is a D&D adventure, not therapy. Sorry. So, are you sure you want to do this, cheerleader? I do, but I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Of course you don't. You're a noob. But I do want to do this, Tilly. I know this all meant a lot to you, so I just want to... Right, this isn't... Therapy. Okay, cheerleader, if you really want to play, then let's play. But first, you're gonna to have to meet the rest of our party. What party? Every adventurer has a party. This one's ours. Cue the intro music, go! Suddenly, a leather-clad warrior Lilith appears. Think Jennifer Aniston, but with more skin showing. Besides being crazy hot, I sport black eyes, fangs, and wield a very demonic battle axe. First up, Lilith Morningstar, class Demon Queen. What in the hell is she wearing? She acts as our squad's muscle. When you're facing down on a motto of ogres, she's the one you want holding the steel. She's the perfect combination of both beauty and brawn. Violence makes me hot. Enter a very pale-skinned and white-haired elf. She's tall, lean, and armed with an elaborately decorated wooden staff. I look like a supermodel. Next up is Calliope Darkwalker, class Dark Elf. Seriously, does no one here like wearing all their clothes? Along with her natural elven agility, athleticism, and ass-kicking abilities, she's also a master tracker, lock picker, and has more than a few magical surprises up her non-existent sleeves. No pointy-eared creature has ever rocked so much lady hotness. I'm in the mood for danger. And then there is- Pause, Chuck. Yeah, what's up? What is this? This is your party. <laughs> My party is a leather-clad dominatrix and elving supermodel? Dude, don't look at me. This is what your sister wrote. <laughs> Violence makes me hot? Okay, so there's definitely a certain amount of improvisation involved. Behave yourself! Look, do you want to play the game or not? Sure, whatever. 
And then? There's me, named Tilly Evans, AKA Tilius the Paladin, healer of the wounded and defender of lights. Class, awesome. Welcome to the quest for the lost soul of Athens. Your mission, find and retrieve the lost soul before it is devoured by the dark forces of darkness forever. Seriously, you guys are supposed to be a team of badasses? Okay, never mind. Curious, what form of creature is this? Can I eat it? I thought you said you were quitting. I said I'd cut down. I've only had two this week. Uh, cut down doing what? Uh, eating the flesh of bad guys. Ew. Why are you dressed so strangely? I'm dressed strangely? You do know you look like Josie and the Pussycats, right? Perhaps it allows for more mobility. Elf. Yes, noble paladin Tilius. Any word on Orcus's location? But what's an Orcus? What is this? Your special skill? Asking questions? Yes, this will come in handy later. What's your special skill? Being a huge- Okay, okay, guys, stop it. Orcus is the demon overlord of the underworld. If there's a lost soul, he will either have it, or at least know where it is. Calliope is our tracker. If he's near, she'll know his location. The cave to the Orcus is here, but once we reach the cave, neither Lilith nor I can accompany you into it. For no magical creature dares enter his lair unless they risk being entrapped there forever! Seriously, there has to be more to this outfit, right? You look like you'd be delicious with a side of baby. Okay, so we're going to a cave? Cool, let's go. Actually, Agnes, before we go any further, we're going to, going to need to equip you and build you a character. You can't just walk around looking like that. I'm not wearing what she's wearing. You're at least gonna need a shield. A shield I can do. So, what will be your alignment? My what? Are you good, lawful, unlawful, chaotic, evil? I'm a young Republican. And what will be your weapon? A, a sword, a regular sword, like yours. <gasps> oh, this is no regular sword. You have to earn a weapon like the one Tilius wields. The Eastern Blade of the Dreamwalker. Forged by the fiery nightmares of gods. Blessed by the demons of Brickin. And bestowed upon the warrior destined to vanquish the Tiamat from Newlandia. So I can't have a sword like that one? No! no. Fine, I'll just take a regular sword. And what will be your name? Agnes. No, what will be your character name? Agnes. Stop being an ass at Agnes. No, I just want to use my name, Agnes. It's less confusing that way. Fine then, it is decided. You will be Agnes the ass added. That's not what I said. Agnes the ass added, welcome to our party. <sighs> and so it was that Agnes the ass added and Tilius the paladin ventured forth into the dark dwellings of Orcus, the overlord of the underworld in search for the lost soul of Athens, but what they found deep in that cave was not what they were prepared for in the slightest. It is I, the great Paladin Telus, healer of the wounded, defender of lights, and I've come here too. Shh. Um, we're here to fight uh, shh. You? uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. But we've come to battle. I know what you've come here to do, and I'm telling you, it's not gonna happen. I'm busy. This is the Overlord of the Underworld? The former Overlord of the Underworld. I quit. You quit? You can't quit. What you talking about, I can't quit? You know how annoying it is to always get attacked by so-called adventurers all day and night? <sighs> so, what would you like? Treasure? Jewels? Some Cool Whip? It's wicked good. I wish to free a soul. Uh, sure. Which one? Mine. What? You heard me, Orcus. I want my soul back. Uh, Coolio. And, uh, which soul would that... Oh, crap. This is a bit awkward. Wait just a minute. You're the lost soul of Athens? Orcus, can I have it back or not? Uh... You're Tilius the Paladin, correct? Correct. Yeah, this is a bit awkward, but I sort of lost your lost soul. What do you mean you lost my lost soul? Well, I sort of, kind of, maybe traded it for this badass TV-VCR combo from the, uh, Tiamat. 
What? Yeah, she was like totally into it. And the, my old TV completely conked out in the middle of a Seinfeld marathon. So you just gave my soul to Tiamat? I traded your soul to Tiamat. For nothing? Not for nothing. Have you ever seen Seinfeld? The soup Nazi? Oh, God. This isn't good, is it? No, not good at all. Are you sure you wouldn't take some Cool Whip instead? No? My bad. So where have you been all weekend? Busy. With Miles? No, not with Miles. <gasps> you say what? You went out with another guy? Uh, sorta. What do you mean, sorta? It's not what you think. I knew it. This whole girl next door vibe you're rocking is all an act. Underneath, you're just as much of a freak as the slackers in drama class. <laughs> That's so not true. So Courtney Love, who's the new mystery man? He's a freshman. Holy crap, you're fooling around with a fish? I'm not fooling around with anyone. We're just playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> okay, what? Don't make a big deal out of this. I take it back. You're not a freak. You're a geek. So how does Miles feel about this? He doesn't know. He doesn't know something about you? Surprise, surprise. Why don't you like him? Because he's a player. He's not a player. Please, he's a jock. He plays. He's a muscular dork that doesn't know how to talk to girls. He's not a player. That's just his thing. Some guys come at you all slick and smooth. He charms you with being dopey. Do you really think that'd work? He's dating you, isn't he? Can we change the subject? Fine. So what's up with the game? Is it some sort of lame senioritis crisis? I know it's stupid. It's just, I want to know why she liked it so much. Oh. I know it's just a game, but... Well, how is it? Honestly, I don't see the appeal. All we've done so far is walk around and talk to things. I thought there were supposed to be more monsters. Vera? Vera, hello? Oh, crap. What the hell is happening? Three bugbears are after you. Three what? Three bugbears. What the heck is a bugbear? What do you do? What do I do? I don't even know what a bugbear is. Are they bugs? Are they bears? You take your turn to examine the bugbears. They appear to be neither bugs nor bears. So, you think this game is mundane, huh? You want a little more action? I, I didn't know things were suddenly going to jump out at us. The first bugbear strikes. Ow! Whoa, wait, don't I get a turn? You wasted your turn examining the bugbears. Which they appreciate, by the way. Bugbears don't usually get such attention. The second bugbear strikes. Don't roll that dice! Ow! Oh, gosh. You've been damaged. Really? I couldn't tell. What do you oh. do? I fight back. My character does the same. Critical roll, Tilia slays one bugbear. However, you swing uh, and miss. Ah, what? What do you mean I miss? Look at these things. The bugbear strikes again. No, no, wait. They miss. Okay, let me think. You take your turn to think. No, I didn't mean. The other bugbear strikes. Oh, come on. Huge damage, uh, Agnes uh, is down. Uh, your character is uh, dying, Agnes. What do you want to do? What can I do? Start playing this game correctly. What? How? Stop acting like a sarcastic ogre all the time and I'll help you. Can you do that? Agnes. Yes, I can do that. You promise? Yes, I promise. What are you doing? Just shut up. Tilius uses a revive spell to restore Agnes all of her hit points. You get back on your feet. We now stand side by side and raise our weapons. And this is what happens next. An elaborate and badass fight ensues as the two girls work together to defeat their adversaries. Agnes fights impressively. How? Congratulations, you've defeated the bugbears. Agnes levels up and gains plus one in being less of a dumbass. Wait, is that really a stat? Yep, totally is. You're less dumb now. Yay. Now, where's the rest of our party? You're not serious, love. We're not actually gonna bring Orcus along with us, are we? I must agree with Lilith. Getting the worst demon in all of the underworld to toot along with us does seem eh, less than wise. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. I mean, look at me. I'm red, I got horns. I'm like totes evil. No, you're coming with us. <sighs> Man, you're gonna make me miss Quantum Leap. That's inconsequential. Inconsequential? <clears throat> Have you ever seen Quantum Leap? The dude time travels through time by leaping into different bodies. Different bodies, yo! And putting things right that once went wrong and hoping each time that his next leap 
would be a sleep home. <laughs> that actually does sound interesting. You lost my soul, Arcus. You're gonna have to help get it back. He knows where your soul is? He gave it to Tiamat. What? Question, what's a Tiamat? This is Tiamat. She's a five-headed dragon who has laid waste to generations of civilizations and adventurers since the dawn. Each of her five heads embodies the different elements of the chromatic dragon. Earth, water, fire, wind, and lightning. Many adventurers have fought her and all have died. All except for one. Wait, you fought that? Yes. That's useless. I didn't even pull off killing her. Now she's gone and stolen my soul for revenge. And you just gave it away? I should rip out your insides and die on them right now! You overgrown sad excuse for a demonic enemy! Wait just a minute. Don't I know you? No! I don't know what you're talking about. You're confusing me with someone. Uh, no, I know you are. You and me, we hang out in the same evil underworld. And I don't think your daddy's gonna be too happy that you're spending time with a paladin and a human. Who's her dad? Uh, the devil. That explains a lot. Please, don't tell him. He'll kill me! Wow. Suddenly someone doesn't seem so tough. Oh! Uh, don't worry. He doesn't have any love for me either. Your secret's safe with me. Orcus, tell us the location of the team at. Now. Fine. Go, go, Orcus map! Ahem! I said, go, go, Orcus map! Behold! My map of Newlandia. This is the path you will have to take if you want to face the team at. First, you must travel down the river of wetness to the swamps of Mushy, where you will then- The names of these locations are terrible. Yeah, well, I was gonna go back and give them better names later, but you know, I sort of died before I could get to it. Sorry. Ahem. Then you must climb the mountain of steepness to the castle of evil, where you will find the Tiamat. Seems simple enough. But. To be able to face Tiamat, you must first fight and defeat all three of her guardians, the big bosses of Newlandia. That's less simple. <laughs> and each one of them are like totally badass. So most likely one of you, if not all of you, are gonna die before you get there. So yeah, you gotta do that. Or we can just chill in my cave and rock us some 90210. Who's feeling me? What? No? <laughs> Not even friends? <sighs> you guys suck. My friends, I cannot ask all of you to come with me. The journey before us is too perilous and the prize too personal for me to expect you to risk your lives. I am just one warrior and you all have so much ahead of you. Please, if you do not wish to continue, you have my blessing to stay here and be safe. Tilius, you know as always you have my blade and my staff. Uh, seriously, I'm totally fine with just chilling. You don't get a choice. Man. What about you, Agnes the Ass-Hatted? What say you? Of course I'm in. Then, let us kick up some ass! And so, our team of adventurers set forth on the path traced out by Orcus. It was indeed treacherous, and they did indeed kick up some ass! Oh, look at the little fairy. Uh, hello, little fairy. How are you? Okay, Orcus goes to pet the fairy, but I dare come back oh. now. Fuck you, overgrown sack of stupid. Just because I'm cute doesn't mean I won't mess you up. Like, seriously, did you see a sign on the way in here that said petting zoo? No. Then please, do not try to touch me. I don't think I like that fairy. Now get out of my magically enchanted forest before I decide to go all fairy berserker all over your ugly asses. I thought fairies were supposed to be nice. Nice? Yo, do I sound Canadian to you? Ain't no one here gonna be nice all the damn time. Fairies are happy. Happy. No one said nice. And I'm, and I'm kind of like mad with some magical happiness. You know what makes me happiest? Kicking the crap out of any lame ass adventurer who tries to trespass in my magically enchanted forest. Look, maybe we should just take the long way around to the mountain? Did you just say the mountain? As in the mountain of steepness? As a matter of fact, yes. Man, I didn't know all that. Should have said something. 
we should have. Y'all must be brave, right? We are. Courageous. That would be an apt description. So you're going to... Fight Tiamat. Vanquish the dragon. And save my soul. Wow, I didn't realize all that. So are we cool? Yeah, if I'd known all that, I would have just killed you instead of wasting my breath talking to you. Uh, um, say what? I'm one of the great guardians, dummies. Oh, but she is but we! Yeah, and me and my wee butt is gonna kill the crap out of you guys. Seriously, what could she possibly do? She is but we! I. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, to heck with this crap. I go straight up cray cray. You've reached the end of your adventure. Time to die, dummies. Boss fight number one. Fair the fairy versus Team Tilius. Belt I am deep, smart, and cute. I, a total badass, begin beating the crap out of the majority of Tilly's party. <laughs> I try to smash with my sword, but she dodges and kicks me in the demon balls. Oh. I swing her with my weapon, but when I miss, she kicks everyone in the head. Oh! Uh, Tilly tries to go on back of her, but gets smashed by one of her wings. Agnes charges at her, but she's yeah. around. Her ah. skills are no ah. good. Magic, real magic. Wait, what magic? Ah. I call on magic missile. Tilly's cast magic missile. When the missile hits Sparrow, an explosion of bloody fairy parts goes all over the place. Ah, oh, gross. Uh, hi? Oh, hey. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm waiting for Agnes. What are you doing here? I was waiting for her as well. Oh, cool. Uh, what you got there? Oh, it's the new Smashing Pumpkins double disc. Dude, nice. I gotta say though, I much for the smoothness of the Siamese dream over the gaudiness of the melancholy and the infinite sadness. Uh, oh, okay, man. Who are you? Why are you here? Oh, sorry. I'm Chuck. I'm Agnes's DM. Uh, you're her what? Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to say that. I'm her friend. Her secret friend. So, you're my girlfriend's secret friend? Yeah, and you are? Her boyfriend. Oh, I didn't know she was dating anybody. Hold up, she didn't tell you about me? No, but that's probably my fault. I keep her pretty busy, if you know what I mean. Keep her busy doing what exactly? Fighting monsters, my man. Fighting monsters. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I do know it probably means I'm gonna have to kick your ass right here, right now. Let's go. What? Why? Because she's my girlfriend. No, man, it ain't like that. Well, then what is it like? We just role play. You what? Look, I got no feelings for her, okay? There's no long-term commitments. We're just here for fun. Uh, all right, Fish, I'm gonna have to break you in half. What? Hey, Jack, look what I found. Uh, hey. Oh, hi. Uh, what are you doing? I think I should probably go. Uh, why? Because you're clearly busy. Oh my gosh, you know about this now, don't you? Yeah, 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 I'd say so. You don't think I'm a dork now, do you? No, no, that's not at all what I'm thinking. Uh, do you want to talk about it? No, I'll see you around. Bye. I'll, I'll call you later. Man, that dog really hates D&D. Yo, nice watch. Tilly! Tilly, where are you? Check it out, I found this cool Whoa! Oh, what the hell is happening? Oh, hey there, Agnes. Nice watch. What were you two doing? I was, uh, making out with my girlfriend. Whoa, wait just a minute. You two are a couple? Does this upset you, lunch meat? It upsets me that you don't know how to put on your clothes. I'd advise not taking such a tone with me. And I'd advise putting on a full shirt before making out with my sister. Wait just a minute. What is happening here? I told you, we're in love. You're gay? Does that matter? Wow, looks like I'm not the only monster here. Get away from me. I never took you for a homophobe. I'm not a homophobe. Then what, that's not what it looks like to me. Shut up, I watch the real world. I listen to Madonna. There's no way I'm anti-gay. Then what's your damage? 
What's with not giving your girlfriend a full costume? She's a she-devil. She's freezing. I didn't think this would upset you like it does. I thought I knew you, Tilly. Well enough to know whether or not you dug boys or girls. You were busy. Not too busy to know this. Well, you didn't learn anything anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, Tilius is a guy. What? Tilius is a guy. She doesn't look like a guy. That's because you're imagining her as your actual little sister. Whenever Tilly played the game, she just wanted to play Tilius the Paladin, who was a guy. Why would she do that? I don't know. Why do gamer guys always play girl characters like Laura Croft? Who's Laura Croft? You don't know who Laura Croft is? That's geek blasphemy. You need to get yourself a Sega stat. Wait, so does this mean Tilly isn't actually, um... Um, maybe don't focus on that particular detail too much. You weren't really supposed to get hung up on that. Okay, uh, where were we? Well, you're right back here on the road, looking for your party who's mysteriously disappeared. Lilith, Calliope, Orcus, where are they? Oh, they're over there, taking a nap. Um, elves and demons don't sleep. They don't? So... Them being unconscious would be a bad thing, right? We look like normal cheerleaders, but we want blood. Oh, crap. What? Succubus. Suck you what? Succubus. Demon girls from the demon world who like to do demonic things like sucking. Are they a boss? No, they're just really mean. Uh, so do we fight them? No, we go. Run. They try to get away, but <laughs> Tilly gets cornered. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey guys, what's up? Were you just perceiving me? Uh, no, I was just looking in your general direction when you stepped into my line of uh, looking. <laughs> I think she was lying. I don't mess with liars. I'm not lying. Hey, what are you doing? I force choke. Yes. <laughs> Let her go. I think the reason why she was looking at you, Evil Tina, is because she has a heart for you. That's not true. Are you saying I'm ugly? No. So do you think I'm pretty? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't speak ah. Uh. I don't speak ow either. I do. I do. I think you're so pretty. You're very pretty. Of course you think I'm pretty. Sorry. Evil Tina is just really sensitive about her looks. Oh, shut up, Evil Gabby. She doesn't mean to be mean to you. I like you. I do. Would you like to join a club? Uh, what club is that? The awesome Evil Club. Uh, again with the us. <laughs> um, I'd love to join. I'd love to. Okay, sit right here and don't turn around. I said not to turn around, loser. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Evil Tina and I come up with a plan. Okay, so all you need to do to join the awesome evil club is make out with me for one whole minute. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I guess, I guess. As they kiss, I punch her. Tilius in the face. <laughs> gotcha. You two are going to die. Later, dorks. Tilly, are you okay? No. I thought you said Tilly's was a guy. Uh, he is. Then why did they pick on him like that? Look, I'm no Time Lord, but I think this module might be a bit more than a game. What? I think that this is actually Tilly's diary, and she just wrote it in Geek. So, is she gonna dump me? Oh, come on, be awesome, Miles. You don't really care about her. You only care that she's a cheerleader and you're a football jock, and it fits nicely within your two-dimensional high school dating paradigm. You're only with her because she makes good eye candy. Hey, that's not true. But then why haven't you dropped the L-bomb yet? Like bomb? The love bomb, you idiot. You've been together for over a year and the most you said to her was, I think you're so cute. That girl deserves more than that. More than some dumb jock in skinny jeans. Hey, I'm also the class president. <sighs> Whatever, you're still just some guy and she's Agnes, my Agnes. Your resume's gotta be a lot more impressive than that to impress me. Wait, you don't think I respect her? Not really. So you think I'm standing here in the middle of a pandemic t fighting with her best friend just because I think she makes good eye candy? Are you kidding me? Of course I... L bomb her. But geez, Vera, she lost her sister. There's other things on her mind than me right now. I'm just taking it slow. For her. You're not the only person in the world that she cares about. Doesn't matter either way, because now she's dating a freshman. Miles, she's not dating a freshman. I I met him. She admitted it. He's her secret friend. Yeah, I know. What, you know? Yeah, he's her dungeon master. Wait, he brings her into a dungeon? Jesus Christ, Miles, no! He's a D&D dork. He's the guy that rolls the dice or whatever. Oh, wait. She's just playing D&D? Why? Well, maybe you should go ask her. 
What's wrong, Agnes? The ass hatted? By the droop of your shoulders and your downward gaze, it would indicate you're troubled somehow. Wow, observant. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> no. I apologize, Agnes. Though we elves have heightened speed, agility, strength, and attractiveness. Don't forget modesty. We're unfortunately lacking in emotional awareness. So you're like a robot? No, we're elves. We're above emotions. That's a human trait. Well, color me envious right about now. What's wrong, Agnes the ass -hatted? I joined this adventure to get to know my sister, to help her. But I don't think she needs me at all. Well, I don't think she needs help from most people. She is a 20th level paladin after all. If anything, we travel with her for we often require her help. Wow, Elf, you're really bad at giving advice. I apologize, Agnes. Would you like to eat Twinkies with me now? What? Eat, nosh, chow down, pig out. I hear humans like to eat Twinkies. Chuck, I'm not going to eat Twinkies with the Elf Girl. What? I don't want to watch you get sexy with the sexy Elf Girl. Why would I want to watch you guys eating Twinkies together? Ew, hot girl and hot girl Twinkie action? That's so gay and not attractive at all. Are you done? What are you doing? Nothing. Chuck! So where were we? Well, you're back ascending the mountain of steepness, but before you can move forward, you run into something. Hey. Your boyfriend? No, that's not right. Hey. Uh, am I interrupting anything? Well, sorta. Were you guys playing Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah. Cool. Oh, we weren't making out if that's what you were wondering. Wait, wait that was an option? Ew, no. Vera told you, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I misinterpreted. With a freshman? Well, he's a really big freshman. I'm not big. Maybe you're just small. What? Nothing. D so, are you mad at me? I'm not happy. Okay, that's fair. But you aren't mad? Keep asking that question and we'll see. Okay, um... I was wondering if you wanted to hang out tonight. I'm busy. You're just playing a game. It's not just a game. Well, h how about tomorrow? Can we hang out tomorrow? I don't know. I, I, I thought you said you weren't mad. I'm not mad. I'm just focused on this right now. Well, can I not wait for just one night? No! Agnes, come on. Look, I'm not in the mood hey, to- Hey man, do you wanna- do you wanna hang out? Huh? What? I mean, if you wanna play, let's play. I mean, you can't be any worse than Agnes here, right? She sucks. He doesn't want to play. Actually, I would. I would like to play, Chuck. It's private, though. I know, but you never talk to me about your sister. I just... If this can get me to know you a little bit more, I want to try. Please. Are you for real? I am. Okay. Roll him up a character sheet. Do you want to know what my memories of Tilly are? They're this little nerdy girl who I didn't talk to, who I ignored, who I didn't understand because she didn't live in the same world as I did. Her world was filled with evil jello molds and demon queens while mine had cute haircuts and Dave Matthews. I didn't get her. I assumed one day I would, that she'd grow out of all of this, that I'd be able to sit around and ask her about normal things like clothes and TV shows and boys. As it turns out, nobody even knows if she was into boys or not. I don't remember her. I remember her as a baby. I remember her as this little toddler I love picking up and holding. But I don't remember her as a teen at all. Now, I'll never get the chance to know her as an adult. Yes, but this story remains. And isn't that essentially all life is? A collection of stories? This is one of mine. This is everything that always happens in every single rehearsal. We have no idea what happens, and we go with it. Okay, where are we? Let's restart. Where are we? Just say no. Where the? Oh God! Now I'm gone. Sorry. Cut. Okay. Go back. I spaced it. Clip. It's wicked good. I 
think she was lying. I don't mess with liars. I'm not lying. Hey, what are you doing? This did simply a game. Forced by the hands of nerds, crafted in the minds of geek. Oh. <laughs> 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 you dare interrupt my daughter's wedding? My <laughs> Annie proposed to Jillian and she uh, accepted. I proposed, I proposed to her first. And they're going to be having a wedding um, <laughs> after we film tonight. And he's like, what? Why? 